Uh oh. You do, you obviously want to get the helicopter in the shot, you want to be part of that, but maybe move it back a few hundred meters, you know, like that is very close. Oh, whoa, oh, hold on, hold on. And what did we think was gonna happen here? You know, like what did we think was gonna go on? It's like literally, that is a freaking vehicle that is taking off from the ground. Like, funny though, it's still funny. Oh boy, okay. So I think I think we've learned our lesson. No, no helicopter. helicopter. Oh. I need Julie to put a jacket on because we're all in white. I asked her to, <laughs> I asked her before we came on. Julie, you need to put a jacket on. Why can't she wear that? I thought it was kind of cool. I thought it was all coordinated. And then she's she's having a big problem about how she's in white. Like, you know what? You should put a goddamn jacket on, freaking Sydney or or Anna or whatever the hell your name is. Like, come on, lady. Like, what out? I haven't I, had time. Does someone? Come is there on. I told you. I told you two hours ago. We know Amber, in chat room. This is not. So I'm sorry. I've been flat out. Well, honestly. I'll call wardrobe and we'll get something. No, Head into the chat room. And joining me today is psychologist Sandy Ray in Melbourne and Nines Julie Snook in Sydney. A big welcome to both of you. Thank you for joining us. I think it's kind of nice. It's like okay, you know, we got all the ladies in white. Like they're gonna tell me what's going on in the world. Like I, I was ready to listen. I was just wearing uh, this blouse. How are you feeling? Mm. Uh, excuse me? Can I speak English? You. Me? No English. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I love this guy so much, man. <laughs> I love this dude so much. You know, for a guy who can't speak English, or like, I guess can't really speak too much English, like, Every time, happy! I have a pen! I have a pen! <laughs> hey! A pen! Oh my god! Thank you! Go. He was doing a pretty damn good job. You know, I got the message. I understood what he was trying to say right there. That is awesome, man. This guy does deserve to be on freaking live TV. Hey, yeah. Honestly, like, if we could just have Go. this guy. Like, I, I like pool, but like this guy, way more entertaining. The chill is letting up, but the chill is not completely gone. No. Right chill it. I'm sorry. And the, and the no, chill has got no. a kink in your neck, huh? You got a... Uh, <laughs> the, I got a never... <laughs> My dude's been like... Sitting like this the entire time, like, yeah, yeah, and, and back to weather, like, <laughs> Oh my, forget it, I just, I, I, I thought it what was the? just the tight button, but never mind, let's, can we just go to the weather? Meanwhile, he's got what looks to be some metal rod thing, it's like a hanger, but not a, I don't even know what the hell that is, but my dude bought the suit from the store and was just like, all right, we're good to go. <laughs> That's hilarious, actually. That's really funny. All right, let's turn over to the weather center here, okay? Because because Churchy was saying she sounds like a broken record this morning, but honestly, I feel like if it's a broken record, this is like the best song ever. Play that song. <laughs> you got it, Daddy. <laughs> Something is very wrong here. I like calling you Daddy. Well, thank you. I can like it. No, 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 no. Please, please tell me my New York weather. That's all I came here for. You can call him daddy on your own time off of the air. I don't need to see it. I don't want to be a part of it. And my dude was like, oh, why thank you. Yes, I, I yeah, that's great. Um, weather, please. <laughs> like, no, no, no. Cut! Practice, uh, oh, 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 oh. what is that? That's because it's hot outside. Stuff like that happens. <laughs> it's a big bug. You know, I can't even really harp on my dude right now because like that it was a sizable bug. Looks to be like a massive dragonfly. Did, was that live? Are we live? <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, if I wasn't like if I wasn't paying attention and that just thing just like appeared right here, probably a similar type of reaction, guys. <laughs> Probably a similar type of reaction. Also, I feel bad for these people because it's like the person behind the camera should tell these people, hey, we're live before this interaction happens. Because my dude had no idea. He had no idea that that was going to be a meme for the rest of his life. That sucks, dude. Northern Iowa comes back to win it in dramatic oh. fashion. Last Saturday, the Panthers didn't look very good against Iowa State. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's so funny. I have no idea what my dude just said presidential candidates roaming around like we needed more craziness out here with all the tailgating and all the spirit there is out here. But uh, it's it's the Cyhawk game, I guess anything goes. Fred Hoiberg is still the mayor of Ames, no doubt about it. I have no idea. I heard like Panthers 
And then, and then my brain completely tuned. I was like, what the hell is going on back there? Wow, that was that was very entertaining. And I love how my first, like the other person too was watching this entire thing happen. She didn't even stop him. She didn't even stop. She just let it kept going. She was like, nope, nope. This is this is more entertaining than what you have to say. Oh, rude, but also true. Two clowns <laughs> crashed. It was a <laughs> no laughing matter. And no, it was not part of their act. The driver, 83-year-old James Billingsley, <laughs> aka Dimples the Clown, <laughs> collided. <laughs> <laughs> wow, she did her best. She did, she really did her best. You know, it, it like it's not a laughing matter. He missed the entrance, but when he tried to make a U-turn, he slammed right into an SUV. They're okay. Police say Dimples was wearing <laughs> oversized clown shoes, but police <laughs> say that they did not play a role in the crash. <laughs> <laughs> because there was an 83-year-old in a car crash, but I, I too would struggle with Dimples the clown and his and his SUV, and his big clown shoes. That's, you know what, I feel for you. I would have done the same. Definitely would have done the same. I'm so pale. You're on it. <laughs> I'm so pale, I'm so pale. Oh, I'm so sorry that happened to you. Today, snow is crippling much of the Washington lowlands. One of three inches of snow fell in Seattle and other areas. Literally, her reaction, there was like a two and a half second, like, oh my God. And then just right into it. Wow, that, wow, you're never gonna live that down. You are never, ever gonna live that down. You just need to own it now. Like my Instagram bio is, I so pale. That's what it is now. That's, that's who I am. Oh, I've broken it. Look at that. It's, I think it's because I've done it so many times today. You've been today. hammering I've... it. <laughs> like, wh why? <laughs> you know, like, why did why did we think that that was a good idea? Why was that sell me? You know? I've been hammering it all day and now I've done it, but oh, there you go. no, because this there was the go. great big side. Can you imagine watching this being like, all right, like super HD, gets all the channels, like you can watch multiple things on here. And I'm like, ah, I don't know if I feel it. And then my dude's like, and you could also whack it with a hammer. And then being like, yes, absolutely, purchase. Unnecessary, you know, just unnecessary. And, um, and then the 11 got by me. But overall, not a bad day for our body armor Ford Mustang. You know, just two solid races here at Charlotte. Just need to find a little bit more speed. But we're right there. I'm, I'm uh, really proud of this team. Yeah, getting close. It's yeah. coming. Ryan Blaney, third tonight. <laughs> Good run tonight for <laughs> Blaney. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's so... You know what? I've been there before. Actually, okay, I don't think I've done it to that extent, but, like, I've been, like, tried to eat something and be like, oh, right, I got my mask on. So I, I feel my guy. This was probably early on in the thing, too. You know, like, this was probably pretty early on. My dude had just getting accustomed to his mask. He had, you know, an okay race. It wasn't great. And then, boom. Wow. I, I feel for you, man. I feel for you. I hope that you won some more races to, like, get this away from you because... Now I'm just gonna know you as like water mask guy. Anyways guys, those were some people who probably shouldn't have been on live TV. There were some funny ones there. This is honestly like one of my guilty pleasures. I love stuff like this. Like it's so innocent. It's so like, you know, it could happen to anybody, but like they're hilarious. Comment down below your thoughts on all of them. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Nicholas Playlog, and I'll catch you next time.